Okay, DSP, the Wings and Boogie match is going to start in a few minutes. But I want to remind you, you have a lot of haters out there, all right? There's a lot of people, thousands of people out there that are going to boo you. They're going to yell nasty stuff about you. They're going to yell nasty stuff about your wife. And they're even going to yell nasty stuff about your cat. Family. Okay, whatever. So just stick with what you're known for, all right? Give them a few of your famous lines. They'll go wild, okay? All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling it right off for profit. Okay, okay, not that one. But yes, quotes that people know you've said like that. All right? Cool? Sounds good to me. It time go. Creatures of Earth, welcome to the first ever Bergamania! My name is Rambo Bambo McGee here to rock the mic so viciously like I've been doing since the age of three. First up, I would like to introduce my commentator, the balding and molding bad back beggar of Bridgepoint, the restitution seeking beggagade from Renton, the Kaching of the Gout Sting, DSP! Everyone, Phil Burnell here, also known as Dark Side Phil on the internet, and I'm going to try to make this as concise as possible, although I have a story to tell today. Now, I'm really not we meet our competitors, allow me to huh? tell you about the match we have prepared for you. Today's competition will be the first ever ladder fried chicken basket chili casket match. As you can see, we already have a 12 piece bucket of KFC dangling high above the ring. Below it, we have our XXXL size casket filled with the most Wendy's chili I've ever seen in one location. In this match, our warriors today will have to first climb the ladder, snatch a piece of fried chicken down. If I had to choose between the original chicken and the spicy, I would choose the spicy. Who cares? Anyways, they need to grab a piece of chicken with whatever consistency breading they like, eat that piece, and then okay, jump into the chili mind. casket and close themselves <laughs> in. I don't even know how that happened. DSP? Anyways, so um, Wendy's. Yeah, enjoy chili. this. After this, we're going to start. Leftovers of all minutes long that they have in the store. So if they're cooking burgers and a chunk of, of burger meat flies off, it separates from the burger. Oh, oh, and with they that, it, it sounds like our competitors are ready to huh? enter the ring. Weighing in at 400 pounds, the Conway Conman, the connoisseur of cat killing, and the slayer of statutory rape laws, Wings of Redemption! He is looking like he's in the best shape of his life, and he is ready to roll out, I mean, walk out there. What's your take on Wings, DSP? Well, I don't know about any way, anything about how he treats his viewer at all. I don't watch his streams, I never will. All I know is about- Oh, that's Boogie's music. Huh? Weighing in at 400 pounds, the fearsome father of Francis, the Holocaust apologist horror, and the pistol gripping predator, Boogie 2988! Oh, it looks like today's referee. Oh, who is today's referee? Let me check the program. Oh, Keemstar. Okay, Keemstar will be a referee. Let's see who he was to say as he walks up to the mic here. What is up, Trouble Alert Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. And we're off the world's first match of this kind. Both gentlemen lock up now. Well, as much as they can lock up with those rotund frames. It looks like almost two potatoes trying to tongue kiss, to be honest. A few punches for wings now. Boogie striking back. Boogie threatens to shoot wings. Wings laughs it off. Boogie responds with some pity tweets. Wings is not biting. Oh, huge right hook from Wings. And I can't believe he is going for it this early. Is that it? Yes, it is. The semi-modular trailer park slam. And Boogie is down and hurting. This former YouTube legend is for once not begging for support, but instead begging for mercy. Wings now is starting to go up the ladder. Will he be the first to get his hands on that chicken? His hands do appear to be a bit greasy. Might have made a trip to Wendy's before the match started, which I have to say is very bold. Much like eating Wendy's chili in the first place. What are your thoughts on Wendy's, Phil? Their burgers are fresh. They taste better. Their fries are better than McDonald's fries, in my opinion. Their chicken nuggets are the fucking bomb. I Boogie now, unlike his YouTube career, now starting to recover, starting to make a comeback. He's slowly lumbering his way to the ladder now, which holds wings, which after multiple minutes has just ascended to the godly position of the second step from the floor. Boogie has almost made his way back to the ladder here. Huh? What's this? The lights are out. What's going on here? 
The champ is here. Unless my young ears are deceiving me, I believe that is the current world champion of the DWL, the molester from the fourth trimester, the god of golden showers, and the unholy prince of underage girl playlists, Derek. Where could he be? God, everyone's freaking out. Where is he? Okay, lights have just came back on in here, and he is still nowhere to be found. Pookie and Wings now embracing in fear. Both have long forgotten about the point of this match. Though I did see Wings stick his head into the chili while the house lights were out. Yes, Pookie and Wings now in full embrace, frightened of Derek. Who knows what Derek might be thinking of doing to them. This man has a dangerous and dotted history. I know I'm clenching my ass as tight as possible. How about you, Phil? My ass is so fucking stretched out at this point, it's time to push there back. Oh, no, there he is! There he is! Huh? It appears he just ran out of the girls' bathroom and is running towards the ring. He's not thinking about sock golf anymore. He's thinking about his finishing move, the non-consensual knuckle. He would love to stick that deep into the bowels of these two bulgy, billy warriors from South Carolina and Arkansas, respectively. He's approaching the ring now. It appears that Boogie and Wings are now ready to fight, not scared of the Canadian Cougar anymore. In fact, it looks like they're working together. Keem just sitting back enjoying it, knowing he's making a hundred times more than these two idiots while he just stands there and does nothing but ring the bell. Derek now slides into the ring, very tense now inside the arena. No one wanted to make a wrong move. No one wanted to expose their backside to the OnlyFans aficionado. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Wings, acting as if he was going to run at Derek, distracts him enough, just enough, for Boogie to put into his patented sleeper hold the pistol grip. There is no coming out of this one. Fans screaming now at this development, especially the parents of young children, happy at what is happening. Now Wings is joining the fun, clearly not believing the pistol grip is enough. Wings is tempting. No, no, it can't be. He can't do this. Yes, the Carolina Clutch. I haven't seen this move in years. I thought it was outlawed nationwide. For those listening at home, this move requires you to kill a cat by covering it with a bucket without food or water for days. Once you've fully forgotten about the cat, you then uncover the cat and stuff that dead cat into the face of your opponent. It has proven deadly in so many cases and is a favorite among people that think the punishment for statutory rape should be merely a slap on the wrist. What do you think about cats, Phil? That's it. Cats are not allowed. Only dog. Back in the ring, Derek in real trouble now. A dead cat laced across his face as Boogie holds on to that pistol grip harder and harder. Harder, in fact, than he is even holding on to his dying YouTube career. Derek has to be done. There is just no way he's coming out of this. Derek has to be done. There is no coming out of this. DSP, where are you going? DSP! DSP, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, you can't do this, no! Phil is holding a home protection hatchet, and it looks like he's gonna use it. Will he use it a wings, Boogie, even Derek? Who knows? Phil now raising the ax like a madman, high up in the air, ready to strike his foes like all the troll channels he has stricken before. It's time the ax comes down, and what? He hit the chili casket! Brown chili now flooding out of the casket like Derek's favorite scat video, and everyone's struggling to get to their feet. DSP with his bad back and very lubricated Italian oily skin and eczema cream have been flushed all the way to the fourth row. Only Wings and Boogie remain in the ring. Who will get up first? Oh no, not like this. Wings and Boogie still face down, unable to do a single push it with their massive weight holding them down like Derek holding down a middle schooler during recess. What's that? A smile has begun to creep on Derek's face. He knows what time it is. We know what time it is. The crowd knows what time it is, but they don't want to see it. No one wants this. I have no idea where Key ran off to. Oh my god, the double non-consensual knuckle. The cavernous yet mountainous buttocks of Wings and Boogie now exposed to the world as Derek's hands dive deep into the depths of their very digestive system as the non-consensual knuckle once again proves how deadly it is. Derek holding it in there, enjoying the moment, almost feasting, some might say devouring the moment. Now forcefully he removes his forearms from his foes, turns them over, and here comes the merciful three count. And there it is. This match is over. I think wrestling will never be the same after this. But wait! The Canadian Cooper himself, Derek, is grasping at the mic. Let's listen in. The champ is here. No, let me repeat that. The champ is here. You know how most people believe that the age of consent is around 16 years old? Well, look at me. I'm a genetic freak. I think people should have consent as young as 10 years old, because that's when they start getting sexy. And when I'm watching my favorite mature adult streamer, Darkside Phil, 
I could go as young as seven years old. And when you add in the fact that I just watched Frozen for the 10th time today, I think people could get sexy right around the age of five. So you see, the numbers don't lie. The age of consent for me is five years old. So anyone in the audience, if you are under the age of five, please have your parental guardians give me your phone number and their work schedules and your school schedules. And never forget, oh. the queen always rises to the top. <laughs> For DSP, Keen, Boogie, Wings, and even Derek, this is Rambo Bambo McGee from WPIG, and we are out. All right, what's going on, Swainiacs? The Snort of Maniacs? Uh, hold on, let me get my shit fixed up. Alright, um, yeah, what's going on? Is it still going? Okay, that, that should be it. So, um, this, this is a stream, I guess. Kind of a Friday chill, relaxing, interesting, engaging, positive, uh, stream. Uh, I'm not gonna do a restream of the pre-stream tonight. I'm also going to be playing, um, what is this? Power Wash Simulator. There you go. And uh, we're going to watch some DSP stuff. I don't know what, though. Uh, we will figure it out, you guys. We will figure it out. Um, as long as we stay positive. And we sway positive. We have to be swaying positive. You, you ain't got the answer, Sway! Uh, anyway, Sway got wailed out big style yesterday. One dude gave him like 300 bucks on uh, uh, 150 on each stream. So that was very positive. That was bursting and, and busting from positivity. And um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically all that happened. It was super positive. We've never seen a stream that positive before, and we might never see it again. Because uh, th those kind of those whales, they don't exist anymore. People that just swing by. Hey Phil, I've been watching you since uh, 1563. Here's uh, 150 bucks. And then he comes back and does the same thing on the night stream. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's some outstanding whaling. Uh, anyways, I don't really know what kind of videos I'm going to watch. Probably some older stuff. And let's see Sway talk about some stuff. There was uh, on the flare-up yesterday... Uh, ALT listen to this gamer talk thing. And I wanted to listen to it too because it's pretty long. And it's vintage. Is DSP talking on some random podcast in like, I don't know, 2012 or something? So I, I wanted to check that out. Because I haven't watched the, the flare up from hey, yesterday. It starts, it doesn't like a little spurt. What is this? Okay. I guess we can watch this. Shout out I to the girlfriends. Hey, big ups, uh, Swaggy Davis Jr. for a super chat. Shout out to all the boyfriends. It says streaming. All the Swainiacs, Nordamaniacs. I need my boyfriend. So yeah, for some context, I guess, um, this is DSP on some podcasts back in the day. This is an hour and a half long, so let's check it out. Let's see what we can salvage from it. And maybe it's not going to be a complete waste of time. Who knows? But if it's anything like his Jake James Lugo interview, which was, that shit was trash. Uh, if it's anything like that, then it's going to be boring as hell. Lord have mercy. All right. Hey, hey. Well, thanks to Dota. That's right. <laughs> it is what it is. So what's going on, guys? It is Nate, a.k.a. Kane. Joining with me. Nate, a.k.a. Always, Kane. Anthony. There you go. With all this Just crap in my way. No, I'm excited. This not seems shit different days. <laughs> okay. today, today... I don't even know which year this takes place in. Is it like 2012, 2013? But if it's too boring, we're just gonna switch. He's been uh, this week's been not gonna be watching this move, dumbass shit. Get things straightened out. Oh yeah, uh, tomorrow. DSP. I forgot. Tomorrow, uh, first, I was thinking first I'm gonna do the ad stream, sponsored stream, Raid Shadow Legends type beat. That's gonna be like an hour long. Then. We're gonna jump on a different broadcast, and we're gonna watch Wings and Boogie, cause that's that's tomorrow, right? 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 It might not be tomorrow. I don't fucking know. And then we're gonna watch the whole DSP stream all day, all day sway, and it's gonna be pretty awesome. Sway. Yeah, we're gonna do the the react, cause it's tomorrow. 
So it's gonna be a, a day full of positivity, chill, interactiveness, and um, uh, meaningful content. There you go. Be on here. We got the haters in the stream. We got the fanboys. <laughs> haters. We got our poor gamer talk live people stuck in the middle. It's just gonna be crazy. It's gonna be fun though. We definitely got uh, moderators covering this. Um, got hazard in the house as well. Make sure everything's fair and coaching okay. and all that stuff so uh, let me just look up uh, gamer talk live first let me see if they got some lore behind them if they existed as a podcast or whatever they existed as and when that happened uh game this is game talk live i'm thinking this is something else because this is uh oh yeah this is a dead channel but it used to I be kind of a thing game talk live and this is your esports minute uh, an esports minute there you go uh this didn't really take off but there's a lot of channels like that so i guess that's not it that's not it that came out quite quite a while ago and uh yeah i don't think that channel exists anymore it's just like nba stuff and other stuff so yeah i don't think gamer talk live is a thing but they had DSP on, so maybe they can get to the point and we can actually start watching this probably thing. See further on down the line there, um, for whatever reason, on my desktop, the stream chat is not loading, so as for you actually watching it on YouTube, it's kind of SOL. I also do want to thank Hazard for providing this new Gamer Talk Live layout. So thanks again, Hazard, for that. It's awesome work. Big ups. <laughs> the layout. Uh, um, this is obviously only the the audio only version, so add, we don't get man, to see the cool ass layout. Um, no, I mean that's really about it. Um, I guess if anything, we're just gonna see how this turns out. Uh, just as a forewarning, I mean we've already seen a lot of hatred from all sides, not only we've to DSP it. but also to ourselves. <laughs> um, oh, just man. as kind of a background, although Nate's kind of known for his which year is this is, though? He's openly said many times over he does not hate Phil, and that's not what this thing is gonna be about. Not we are going to address hatred. some questions. It's not even going to be an interrogation. To ask, but this isn't going to be a bash fest. This is really just, you know, getting answers. And I mean, even with my channel, uh, way back when, uh, I'm not really a fan of Phil's content, but I have, you know, watched it quite a bit in the past. I'm, I'm not a fa hater or a fan, um, but when i remember seeing one of his vlogs where he's like oh yeah you know i got into this because i really enjoy gaming and i want people to see it that's basically the same reason why i got into this as well and i've actually met a lot of people through you know contacts of both john rambo and DSP. Hey, shout out rambo so, I mean, without either of those two guys i wouldn't know half the people i know on here anyways right and right it, <laughs> it goes without saying um like oh bro this right is this is already YouTube. great. Uh, they're it's already great. Very slim chat rules that I have. Um, basically, it's the only thing the easiest way to explain it is just respect. Just have respect for your fellow chatters. Sounds stupid, but anyways, that's really I don't, I don't know how to really sum it up. Just have respect. Don't be a dick, and you don't have nothing to worry about. It's it's not censorship. A lot of people will spin it off that way. It's like no, you can express how you feel without being a dick. You don't have to be disrespectful. You don't have to be an asshole or whatever. Yeah, I, I, because, I mean, I uh, encourage people to say what they feel. All right, why all right. I, I encourage you to actually get to the point. Whatever. Reviewer. Uh, okay, hey, there we go. It's I guess swaying. for anybody who's unfamiliar with your work, although I'm pretty sure everybody knows, who are you, what do you do, and so all on. Right. <laughs> yes, I am Phil Brunel, but I go by Dark Side Phil or DSP for short on the internet. Uh, former pro fighting game player, mostly known for uh, my performance in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Wait, wait, how, how did he get him canceled? They just stopped existing because people hated on him. Really? That's oh. some that's some nice lore. Okay, let's let's get to this. Over the years, there we go. Uh, pretty much, kind of retired from that, moved into other things. Now I am a basically a let's player, a game reviewer, uh, a blogger, uh, pretty much anything related to games. Uh, I have my YouTube channel DSP Gaming. Where I post uh, playthroughs, full playthroughs of games uh, daily. I also have uh, the King of Hate vlogs, which is my vlogging channel <laughs> on you YouTube. You gotta plug all the channels. Like game reviews, my schedule videos. What about DSP uh, Street Fighter? DSP tries it, where I, I try missed that channel. It was great. And, other stuff. and then in addition to all of this, the newest change this year was that earlier this year, I adopted uh, direct capture and live streaming. 
and uh, I have my live streaming channel oh, here. Oh, this was Twitch, right after she adopted Nightfall, a direct where, uh, capture. That's again, awesome. Daily, when I'm recording, I'm so I'm excited. Also live streaming my video game playthrough. So, a lot of different stuff there uh, to check out, and uh, that's pretty much my story up to now. <laughs> All right. Um, so, I mean, we have a few questions. I think uh, we're going to go back and forth. We'll have uh, Nate start off first. Um, let's see. Okay. Well, didn't didn't you have the one question? Oh, oh I thought you, oh, I thought you were going to start off with the one question, and then I was going to the, go the one other question. One. <laughs> okay, now you've got me totally confused. What is this? Where did the load go? <laughs> all, right, all right, I'll ask them both then. I'll give the Fair honor to, to do that. All right, so we have one question. Uh, I forgot who it's from. You probably have in your comment list anyways, because I don't, because it's yours. Uh, can you swim? Bro, this is so professional. Oh, can you can swim? I swim? I have not... <laughs> wow, what a question. I have not swam <laughs> since probably the high school years. I could swim back then, but I couldn't honestly answer that because I haven't done it in so can long. Can you swim? So. <laughs> That's actually from Hazard GD. He was... I promised him that... Starting that off strong with a hard-hitting question. Uh, it was just too random nice. to ask. Now that the joke is out of the way, now to the <laughs> serious stuff. Now for stuff. the easy questions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, everybody get your, you know, your hankies and your tissues ready because this is, this is going to be tugging on the feels. And just to prove that the what? questions we have aren't simply just haters. And it, I mean, this is some fan questions. This is going to be kind of long. It's going to be the only long one. And it's uh, from somebody that you know quite well. John Rambo. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. And we'll it is at the end. Uh, something I'd have to say, kick out the negativity a little bit. Bruh. Without Phil Burnell, <laughs> my life would be very different. I wouldn't know a lot of people I know, such <laughs> as um, Kanade Tenshi, P. Dog, P. Dog, Coruchado, <laughs> John Rambo, okay. OJ, Howard, Nate, Anthony, The Lemon, Fozy, DX Michael, DX Static Michael, Bains, Solid Fantasy, Cut Out, Panda, the whole, Panda, the whole PG, fucking uh, Crown, Cyber Demon, uh, Lambent, Layla. This list could go on forever. Yeah, it, I'm a it, moderator it can. for his stream and website. Also, the head news editor for his website. This allowed me to be creative, learning a thing or two, make my own YouTube channel. Things that are on my CV and that I've actually been able to talk about at job interviews. Who is this? Is, is this uh, KG? Renaissance, Electronic, Europe. I probably butchered that. <laughs> was song. he a window licking uh, dick licker back in the day too? Rambo, as well as graphics for John and for Phil. Yo, and he did work for free. By thousands of people. What a nice I flex. I literally cannot thank them enough for these opportunities and it's something that I'll never be able to repay. In a funny way, when I find problem with uh, Phil's internet persona, it's never with the content. The content is entertainment, and as far as I'm it's concerned, everybody I'm else's fault. Criticism of his personal <laughs> character, Kojima World Order for life. <laughs> in some ways, what? I feel sorry for Phil. Being in the spotlight is tough, and he has people from all around the world waiting for him to say something offensive or bigoted, so they can criticize him for it. Okay, and I can't he, say I he keeps doing it though. He leads. Even for me, when Phil attacks someone personally, I feel uncomfortable for supporting his content, and rightfully <laughs> so. Sometimes it seems like Phil goes out of his way to rain on certain topics and a group of people. This doesn't help when oftentimes it's on a topic that he hasn't fully researched and he isn't in the know about. This Did this happen yesterday? I mean, when was this from? It's at least like 10 years ago. And it's still like the same shit you criticize him for nowadays. The same dude. Hasn't he changed though? I thought he changed. He, he's Mr. Change. Come on, man. People are going to be upset and unhappy when you, someone they must be a fan of since they're watching your content, make insults and attacks based on assumptions of something they enjoy, many of which are personal. My question is, why do you feel the need to ridicule your fans when they make statements or say things to you that contrast your own opinions or you just disagree with? It's a regular occurrence that instead of making a reasoned rebuttal, you just attack them personally. The hey, whole there we go. Twitter awesome. debacle is a prime example of this. You only made a more reasoned and, frankly, amended statement once it had been made a big deal out of by fans. Like everything else. I really feel else. like this hostility is a primary cause of viewers' drops. Would it not be a better idea to take the high road more often? Start enforcing a policy of, if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all. Like any other business you have to deal with uh, disagreeing, disappointed, and sometimes unreasonable customers, at your last job, if someone called up and said, I don't think your helicopters are very good. I don't like it. <laughs> you didn't turn around and say, well, you're a fucking idiot. Kind regards, 
Hazard. Hazard. This guy is gone now. This guy saw he saw the writing on the wall that this dude would never change, and he just left. But uh, before that, he made sure to write a massive amount of text. So yeah, big ups to this guy. All right. So basically, I guess the, the right. piece of the question is why. So basically, let me paraphrase this whole thing that was very clearly explained. Let me tell you what he actually wanted to say. And what he meant was like, Phil, why are sometimes when you have a moment of weakness and you say some things erroneously and you're a fallible human? Well, you see, I'm a fallible human. And sometimes I have moments of weakness that last up to a decade, sometimes even 15 years. Uh, can, can we get to the next question, please? It seems like a lot of the times I respond to negativity harshly rather than either just taking the high road and not saying anything or possibly taking the time and responding maybe in a more complex manner. It's funny because right before we started the stream, I was talking to, to these guys about how, unfortunately, Twitter is not the place to try to have any kind of an intelligent conversation with anybody because there's far too few characters. You try to say something, but you end up saying hey, it in ups, a way that it's a bridge. Uh, for the, the and five ends up bomb twins. Emphasis. Big ups for the five gifts, dude. Congrats everybody who got one. And to those who didn't, um you're gonna you're gonna push through it i know it's a difficult time in life or the detail of what you're trying to say it's so been in particular tough. he mentioned minecraft i don't i'm i'm not hating on minecraft the game all right the fact that minecraft has become such a popular entity in the gaming world the fact that you can go to walmart and they've got minecraft shirts and minecraft accessories for kids and stuff accessories it's a, a testament that the game obviously has an attraction to a wide fan base okay I completely understand that can we go that to the actual topic the point that i was making in the tweet unfortunately because it was a tweet you don't have enough space to really elaborate so and in this regard Make a tweet longer. i'm gonna say to hazard absolutely you are 100 percent correct a lot of the time what ends up happening is I want to say something, but instead of, okay, well, I'm going to make a video to fully elaborate my opinion, I end up jumping on Twitter and I say something, and then half the people who read it think that I'm trying to say something that I'm really not. But you're saying the thing, though. They're Minecraft, criticizing the thing you're saying, not the thing that you wanted to say, but then didn't say, and said something else instead. They're talking about the thing that you actually said. It's such a stupid complaint, this, like, because he's done this before. This is um, when he called his viewers lazy. And he basically said, obviously, I didn't mean to call people lazy. I just meant this and this and this. No, you literally call them lazy. What do you expect people to, to take away from that? You literally call them lazy. Just like in this, he was shitting on Minecraft. Like, what do you think people would look, they would read between the lines to figure out what you actually meant to say? Hey, is that I think the game is not a game for... The kind of people like I am. I'm a kind of person. Okay, I like then don't that play has it. A complex story. Bro, this game isn't for me uh, right now, but I'm playing it for some reason. I, I'm I like fucking a game terrible. That's multifaceted. I'm terrible at Minecraft cleaning. Minecraft is the bro. kind of game that it's a time waster. Okay. There's no real complex story or anything going on in it. When you when you beat Minecraft, your initial I guess the initial campaign or whatever there is in the game, you're not wow. I feel accomplished because I beat that game and what an awesome story and I love those characters and I'm gonna want to go back to that over and over. No, that's not the kind of game it is. It's a game where you literally sit at your computer and you dig and you build stuff and you play with mods and you mess around. It's a dick okay. around game. The dick so around I can game. Why people like that, but at the same time, when people come on my videos of a masterpiece, a game from my childhood that I think is like an amazing game, and they go, Earthbound is boring. Okay. This game is sucks and is boring. I'm going to go play Minecraft. I, th I, I want to shoot myself in the fucking head. <laughs> because that's like the wait, mentality bro. of what's happening with gamers. Wait, what kind of an explanation is this? This is just him rambling about shit. This is not clarifying or explaining anything. Because they asked him, Phil, why do you respond in such a toxic way to the things, to like criticism or whatever? Well, let me tell you about Minecraft. And now we're talking about Minecraft. He just changed the topic. Man, what the fuck? These days, it's we just want to jump, play this mindless game that you know it's just sit down, click, 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 click. Same thing with Call of Duty. Look how dumbed down Call of Duty has become, and all of a sudden it's the biggest selling game in the world right now. It's just anyone can jump in, anyone can shoot a few people, and then turn it off. And it anyone just, can shoot a few people. Place, but don't, don't be giving people ideas content, and insult 
a masterpiece from my past just because okay. you are the kind of gamer that doesn't have that kind of perspective. But you know that right? this, this kind of crybaby complaining only makes me want to go on those videos and just shut on the game he's playing because he's going to cry about it like this. That's the only thing it makes me want to do around for quite some time so that's why i feel that i can uh, can see those things and i don't look at older games sure i don't like how every game on the commodore 64 looks i think it looks like shit but i'm not going to sit here and shit on those games because i know there was a fan base for that back then so that was the, p the point of my tweet but it basically came out me saying minecraft it came out differently because i wrote it differently wants to play it and that's how people read that tweet yeah because right? right. that's what you said that's though one of the things that people was taking that comment um like basically how, because you said somebody came on your stream was basically just knocked. Um, what, what game was he playing again? It was. It was uh, Earthbound. Er Earthbound, yes. So, basically, like when they said that, like this game is boring, it sucks. I'm gonna go play Minecraft. He was like, "What the fuck?" Th and that's exactly how people felt when the comments was made about Minecraft. Like, even though I think what what people are generally looking for it's not oh, what a great interview now we're just talking about minecraft about how you feel about the shit game, sucks man I understand that i and i guess it's what you said there it kind of goes really into um the limitations of twitter specifically twitter because the uh character limits and shit but just to be more mindful about how i guess like other gamers take it too because that's one thing I, I admit gamers these days are basically really short attention spans. That's okay. why, again, like call, games like Call. My of attention games, span is too short for quick, this stupid for fucking discussion. Can you can we get else? to the point? That's Maybe they, next question. So successful because short attention spans. That's, that's congratulations. You allow DSP to change the topic, and now you stupid motherfuckers are talking about Minecraft and not him being toxic to his viewers. So congrats, you fucked up, dumbass. It's a popular thing nowadays. All right, real quick before we get to uh, Nate's question, just in regards to this, um, it was also about addressing negativity. He was basically just saying, you know, if you see people talking shit, basically ignore them, I guess is what he was also trying to suggest as well. But in regards to Minecraft, I guess, I, I, like oh, right in now, regards I to Minecraft, you, but I'm not going to insult you or insult people him, feel dude. the same way about Minecraft. No, insult although him. there's not much story to Minecraft, it, all, it does Call him a, a racial slur. can come up with. I think it's a little bit more than a time waster, and I too am from an era like the Super Nintendo was like the biggest thing for me. I've been playing actually since the Atari days, so I can kind of see what you're talking about. But I guess I f I feel like it probably could have been worded differently, and you yourself said it probably could have. Okay. But you only have like 140 characters to try and talk about the subject. Right, and I do. You can I make do a say thread. I apologize to anyone who was insulted, thinking that I was saying you that Minecraft a thread is a back in the day? game, and you're an idiot if you play it. That's not the point I was making. But that's really what, what you said, though. Was, like, Isn't you know, you that what you said? You take a look at videos on YouTube, and oh, anyone uh... who puts out a Minecraft video gets thousands of views just because they're playing Minecraft, and it's like, really? Like the game has become that. But it's like if you're not playing Call of Duty and you're not playing Minecraft, you're not in the in crowd on YouTube anymore. And this that's is not way that bad than when yet. I started on YouTube. It's absolutely ridiculous, in my opinion, that these two games are kind of dominating the entire gaming scene. So for someone to make a comment now, like yeah, that, we're wasting content, everybody's time. This is what uh, this is what the side scrollers would have been if they didn't actually talk to trolls. Because this is exactly what DSP wants you to do. He wants you to stray off the topic, and before you know it. Before you know it, you're talking about fucking Minecraft and how Minecraft, oh yeah, it's a different game from Earthbound because gamers nowadays or have a less attention span. So he completely swerved you and now we're talking about something else. Awesome. Set me off. Yes, I did say I, I approached it the wrong way. I should have just let it go. And as for the negativity comment that Hazard made, I will publicly admit absolutely 100% this year in particular, yes, I have been getting letting the negativity get to me which i should not have done if you remember when i started out on on uh, youtube doing this full time i said we're going to remain positive we're going to keep pushing ahead we're going to ignore all the bullshit, and we're going to keep going and unfortunately this year it did kind of get took to me, me like for 20 minutes reasons. to wash this uh, you know things worries about myself my future being able to do this on the internet as something full time uh this year really affected me because i really wanted to move this year and then basically getting a pay cut at the beginning of this year was a huge so devastating like blow to me. Huh? I'm stuck in Connecticut basically nice. because of it. And, uh, you know, I've been a little bit, I'll, I'll be honest, I've been a little, little bit more sensitive this year about this kind of stuff. So I do have to make an honest effort to try to, to address these things properly, to understand what I'm saying is, uh, okay. is being 
viewed in the public eye and that people may take it the wrong way or yeah he's like acting exactly the same way nowadays absolutely nothing has changed absolutely nothing he still reacts like that he still used to go on twitter up until a few months ago uh nowadays he doesn't especially with the beg tweeting he completely stopped but there's been there's been no change it's been like 10 years now almost 10 years if this was 2013 14 it's almost 10 years since this and not be able to say it the right man, way. I'm, I'm man, I'm changing, man. I'm changing. I'm changing. Come on. Try to make an honest effort to be more positive. So does okay. that mean you and I are going to do some co-op of Minecraft and go ahead and do a video of that? <laughs> Actually, yes. That's the big announcement on the stream tonight. Minecraft. <laughs> the big project. No. no All right. No. Uh, Nate, go ahead with the next one. All right. Uh, next question is, hey, Phil, my question is this. Stating that you are no my longer... My question is thus... Why was I banned from the King of Hate vlogs for giving you a <laughs> Bruh. reasonable trick? This trip. guy, Bruh. Uh, uh, yeah, he he did. I mean, he. That's that's what happens when you just let him talk, and and then you just like agree with him because it it takes so long to like figure it out. But yeah, this is like, hey Phil, why did I get banned from your forums? What a fucking great question. Criticism about your dual hateful truth uh, feature. God of War and Gears of War Judgment. You stated that you were no longer. And now we're just retelling a story. This is su such stupid bullshit. Under the circum cer excuse me, circumstances of racism and sexism. Um, that question was really generalized, so I actually asked them, "What was it that you said?" Um, right. They they didn't have it verbatim, but it, what he said was it was along the lines of this. I think it's pretty lame of you to group together these two games together for the hateful truth. To me, it sort of seems like it was rushed, as you did not take the time to make a separate review, to cash in to get the video out while the games were, are relevant. I think two separate reviews would have been more Bruh, this is the dumbest fucking interview. They didn't have any questions of their own? Right, They're it? just okay. reading well, some fucking well, dumbass dentcat questions. I get this all the time. Phil, why did you block me from your channel? When all I said was an honest and, and now fair again, we're not we're not res like, now, we're not I responding to the actual question. We're talking about something else. We're talking about the abstract, the general picture. Why would you even bother saying that? Because you can't prove it. You know what there I mean? There you go. You can't like, prove it. The comment was deleted and the guy was blocked. You have no idea what they really said. Complete what waste of everybody's time. Is people are complaining that they're getting uh, blocked or banned. And then I come to find out this was the guy who was spamming my video with nasty shit two weeks ago. There you, you go. Know, and I blocked him, and then all of a sudden he realized he was blocked, so now he's acting, oh, I'm innocent. I was the nice guy. And now we're trying to so, make it seem like that, that guy who asked the question here, did it. But when you do hear people saying that, I do want to say you got to take it with a grain of salt because a lot of people, they try to twist it to make them look like, oh, oh I was the innocent it. guy. You know what I mean? The bottom line is, since the beginning of 2013, the bottom line. this is correct. I have not been policing the comments of my videos. Bro, this remember? is literally just a fucking hate live thing. This is literally Ask the King. Literally. And they're just sitting there quiet and just letting him go off. Early this year, I Bruh. basically granted amnesty to everybody granted across amnesty. the board over the entire of my Burnell. career. I unblocked everyone. And it took a while because there was like, you know, hundreds of people who have, you know, done stupid shit. You blocked like half of YouTube. Past several years. And I granted just general amnesty to everybody. I have not been actively reading the comments. The only videos that I really do actively read the comments on these days are my vlog style videos, especially vlog the ones style where I'm trying videos. to get feedback or I'm trying to get an idea from someone like hate live. A lot of the times I say that, you know, leave a comment or whatever. And because I'm talking about this or that. Um... Now, in this particular case, more than likely what happened was that I put out the review, and it was one of two things that happened. Either, number one, someone actually messaged me and said, Phil, there's someone trolling or leaving or getting into a nasty uh, yeah, argument. Yeah, somebody was on snitching. Videos, go check it out. Of course. Because it's upsetting the people in the comments. It's upsetting people in the comments. Dozens and dozens of Are you, like, in month. actual you kindergarten, you getting upset because somebody left a negative fucking comment? You're getting a... Uh, upset on somebody else's behalf because they left the fucking negative comment on the other dude's video it's like, so, so fucking ridiculous man this is such baby level shit so nasty and we know you don't police your comments anymore but My we'd God. like you to go take a look please we'd like you to police them now because nice i'm asking you video and this guy's just being an idiot so that could have been one case maybe someone said there was something on that video that i needed to take a look at and maybe moderate the only other reason, again, is if I'm reading a vlog that I just put out and maybe I'm interested to see what's the feedback. So in that case, maybe I was looking for, you know, feedback on what people thought about my reviews of, of the games. 
Now, in this guy's particular case, I mean, it's months later. I cannot tell you whatsoever what it was that caused me, if that was his real comment or not, right. to delete his comment and block him. You know what I mean? I can't. I, it's it's months later. I wish I had it in front of me and I could honestly tell you why it would irk me. His comment alone, I could tell you just hearing that summary of it does sound negative. Basically sounds to me like he's calling me out and he's trying to tell me that I'm just in it for the money. And so oh I just my God. Just to cash oh, my quick. God. I really care about the games. Look, of the question was Great fucking voice. stupid. Here we see the pig roach in its natural habitat using its most famous survival mechanism, the powerful pignosis. There you go. Yeah, that's 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 what happens when you let him run the clown show and he just pulls a pre-stream and that's it. And the other dudes, I don't even know how many people are there. Is it three guys, four guys, two guys? It doesn't matter. It's it's DSP show now. You just he just goes off and now we do projections. We do, we just make some shit up. Oh, it kind of sounds like you're saying something different from what you're saying. But DSP, wasn't your previous response just now, like five minutes ago, about how people twist the things that you say into something they're not supposed to be? As you twist the thing somebody else says as something they're not supposed to be? Very fucking nice. The review, and I could have... Uh, you know, and big ups to Logan K. He said, you can hear the rocking. You can. You definitely can. Even though I have it kind of turned down, I can I mean, still hear it. Attack. Now, I'm not saying that's what he that's said. That's an attack. But it seems to me that if he wrote something like that, saying... I'm I not saying that's what he said, but it kind of seems to me like it is. Very fucking nice, Phil. Oh, you're a sellout. You're in it for the money. Very that's nice. going to get you blocked. Versus other people that's who would gonna say... That's going to get you okay, blocked. This might have been a better video if you had made two. And if they say it in a, in a in the fashion that's intelligent and respectful. And I think you hit on it at the very beginning of the stream when you were actually talking about the people in the stream chat. I can accept criticism if you say it to me like a human being and you don't say it to me like I'm some f idiot five-year-old kid and you're my parents scolding me, all right? Because the bottom line is this is my content. He gives you it's the free. bottom line, I'm every other line. You. If you don't <laughs> like it, that's okay. You don't have to watch it. And I know I've said that thousands of times and I'm saying it again. If you don't like something in a video, you have every right to post a comment about it, but do it in a respectful and intelligent manner. Not with fuck Phil, fuck this, sell out, fuck Phil. asshole, you know. <laughs> Any of that stuff, I'm not. It immediately shuts me down when I see something. Uh, like that. And like, I'm not going to accept this criticism because obviously this guy isn't even intelligent enough to say it in an intelligent manner. But what? So I don't. I, bro, and now you just call him stupid. Is this how you give criticism? You just call the dude stupid. Oh. Big ups, Meerkat the goat. Hey, big ups, King of Weebs. Uh, it sounds to me like he's a fucking idiot. He can't even give me proper criticism. Sounds to me like he's a mouth drooling fucking idiot. I can't. Give any, a d d definitive answer on this particular question because I'm not, you know, I'm not in my Yeah, it's a stupid it question. They shouldn't even have asked this question. It's some dude asking, hey, Phil, why am I banned from your channel? I said this and this for your stupid fucking playthrough. This is supposed to be an interview, man. Get these questions out of here. Make them send him a fucking email with this. Four months ago, Shit is I, worthless. Yeah. I don't know exactly what the comment was, but... A lot of the times people actually message me about this stuff and they say, Phil, I was banned. I'm not sure what happened. And I unbanned them. I've unbanned probably, a, you know, a whole bunch of people this year in particular. A lot of the times they say, Phil, you banned me. What happened? And I say, I don't remember even reading the comments for the past two days. How could I have banned you on a video that I put out yesterday? And then I go to their channel. But sure enough, they're, this is their block. And so I end up unblocking them. So that might be a factor too, where something's happening, where somehow people are getting blocked, and it's not even me. And I don't oh, know it's how not happens, even him. Notice that a few <laughs> times this year too. So I wish I had a better answer for you, but I can't. Bro. I can't give you one because I'm not in my shoes at the moment when that happens. So I'm not right. exactly sure what the comment okay. Was. Well, of course, this is the response you're gonna get. Of course, you do the same shit nowadays. That's exactly the response you're gonna get. Right, like I said, uh, with that, I, I reached out to him to see if he actually had, like, the full hard on question for that. I'm skipping this, dude, because these dudes have... Um, no. I think with that, no. what people are um, getting concerned about, and this is actually um, the second part of this, is from... Okay. Uh, let's see, let me just scroll too far. Crickets. crickets. I know. I went too far. <laughs> uh, do you want to just get the next question in the meantime? So for time's sake? Yeah, go ahead. Go for that one. Okay, okay let's go for that one. All right. Here's one. This one is also kind of a lot of people said this together, so I'm sorry I'm not giving anybody in particular credit for this one. Um, so it's, uh, do you feel it is truly appropriate to make hateful, sexist, racist, homophobic, and otherwise malicious comments <laughs> in your videos That's and on your epic. streams? Or is this simply just a persona meant to be humorous? Epic. This is literally, literally just the side scrollers, uh, the king of hate question. 
Hey Phil, what does the King of Hate mean? Example being Cortez. Is it a character? Well, more recently, it's Melee a character, and, dude. And uh, when people get angry, it's a character. When people like it, it's me. Middle Gear Solid One. And Sounds so good. On. All right. Well, anyone who's watched my content for you know more than just one particular video where I may be doing that knows that yes, this is an ongoing kind of running joke. I've always thought running that joke. as long as you're doing comedy and you make it blatant that it is comedy oh. and that it's not like an honest racial feeling or sexist racial feeling, feeling. <laughs> it's it, it's done that way and you get a laugh out of it is chicky chang wang comedy is was it comedy when he had to have a, a a specific segment in the top 10 racist moments where he had to explain exactly how it's not racism because usually when you make a racial joke and there's a setup and a punchline and it's kind of funny even if it's not funny for everybody you can recognize it as a joke uh, you don't need to have a disclaimer explaining exactly how it's not racist, usually. Because then it becomes racial feeling, as he said it. Or sexual feeling. Not sexual, but sexist. Sexual feelings are sometimes very good. Then you can do it, you know what I mean? Now, in this case, we're talking about game characters. So in the case of game characters, if you're going to make jokes about them, they're not real. You can't hurt Cortez's feelings, because Cortez doesn't exist, okay? Now... In general, if we're just talking about, you know, homosexuality, sure. Someone who's homosexual and they see me make a joke about homosexuality, maybe they will be offended if they don't realize that this is just a joke. So it really depends on your, I guess, your frame of reference. If you're, uh, you've been a fan of so mine, it's their you know, the kind of person that I am, I am a joking person. That's He's a joking the person. Of watching my videos. It's a part of the I entertainment, do dude. Any kind of ongoing, like. It, it almost makes me want to uh, pull up some of that entertainment. So let's let's see uh, what kind of things people can uh, totally erroneously get offended by. So let's see, uh, DSP Gaming, I think it was an ally, was it a... Yeah, proud ally. This is only 20 minutes long. So um, let's let's take a look at what exactly is happening here. Oh, no. Fuck. Just oh, yeah, give yes. me a chance That'll to tell you what plans for my 21st century. Oh, I thought we were over the tranny. Oh, Washington. What are we having here? It's true. Nice. Dozens of necklaces and bracelets. Strange place to keep them. Maybe he's a fashionista. It's a cross dress. What's wrong with that? I know. It's his own house. Home. Do so what if he's a tranny? Who cares? So, fuck these guys up. It continues. Oh, the suplex oh. machine. Oh, oh, oh. The Taz mission. <laughs> Kill the trannies. That's right. All the women in this game are trannies. I'm not kidding either. They really are. If you get offended by this, it's literally your fault. That's that's what he says. That's awesome, Phil. Big ups. He's changed so much. ...or bigoted or sexist feelings whatsoever. And this is, um, yeah, you can enjoy the entire 21 minutes of this. Because, yes, 21 minutes of this. And this is not even focused on racism. It's focused on everything else, basically. Let's, let's cl click at a random point. Let's say here. All right, well, let's head back to the tranny. Uh, very nice. Well, let me in. Sorry, I'm really sorry. Oh. Holy shit, you're freaking pathetic, you know that? And you call yourself the Leisure King? Mm. Huh? Uh -huh. It's you guys. Let me guess it's the other four billionaires. One of them looks like a tranny. The five billionaires! You got yes. the answer, Sway! Oh my god, the answer, Sway. But let's see him... Try and get the answers. Where I am a Let's very liberal answers. person in that regard. I've had friends of all colors, all races, all <laughs> sexual orientations my entire life. Bro, bro, I'm not racist. I've had black friends. I'm not homophobic. I had gay friends. Come on, man. Hate on any one group in particular. <laughs> Literally the actual meme. The actual meme. For me, I almost like to say it's equal opportunity hating because you watch, watch my videos you see i'll make fun of everyone i make yeah. fun of myself makes fun so of as italians long as you have a good sense of humor and you know who i am in the right frame of reference you'd understand that's what i'm doing i'm just joking but i can understand if there's an outsider someone who's never seen a video of mine before and the very oh, no. first video they watch Pink made a slave joke about black girl not racist now him being american i would understand how people think it's racist because to me slavery is not exclusively based on race because my my ancestors they've been slaves for a couple of hundreds of years shout out uh, to the the ottoman empire that did this to us um and there's also slavery going on on 
every fucking continent it used to be so it's not an exclusively american thing but him being american i understand why people think it's an american style thing is the intro to one of the dynasty warriors games i've been making all these asian jokes and they're probably like oh my god this guy's an asshole because he's such a bigot but that's not the case so i just want to sway hate gay you ain't got the answer sway Sway. (laughs) you can't throw that out there no it's nothing (laughs) Legitimate. It, it's nothing like that at all. I'm just. Yeah, I'm just scared him. Right. So it's a character. It's not really your personal feelings on the matter. No, absolutely not. <laughs> all right. Okay. And um, because I'm, I am going to move on from that one just because I mean that. I, I mean, I think you really nailed it um, with the answer on that. Anyways, it's, it's a frame of reference. This, I actually watched a video of yours that you was talking about. Wait, like, he nailed it on the answer. Really? Forever review. Really. Um, that wow, he nailed uh, I it. The girl's dude. name uh, that reviewed it. Right. She had no frame of reference of the actual game because she was like only twenty years old when she did the review. So she was right. like she, five years old when she played the game. She, so yeah, so how was she? How could she possibly understand that era and what they were going for when they were designing that game? You couldn't. She was the wrong person to review that game. Right. So I mean, that I, that kind of gives a good example of uh, I guess what you're talking about there. Like if you just jump in and you hear the gay jokes and stuff and you don't know what. Well, never seen dark side field before that that's where it could come off putting oh yeah you uh, you should watch all of his stuff and know that he's racist so you're not surprised when he says something racist that's what you should do you should be a, a big fan of phil remember the stationary game award too uh yeah that was that was just a, a a thing that came out his his input came out wrong what i think was funny about this is that he actually got suspended from twitch for it and it was just blatantly just like a, a random thing that he said. A slip of the tongue, you might say. Um, the question I was looking for, it, it kind of directly related. There was nothing really racial going on at all. Um, that previous one was Voodoo 5. But also saying, trying to say a stationary negative is is a weird thing to begin with. 1292 made a question video basically saying, um, I, I don't know where this question mark came from. Okay. But. How you inspired him to make his own channel. But okay, okay, okay. DSP. He used to have a show, and he still does, called Ask the King, where all of these dog shit questions go, right? Why are we bringing these dog shit questions on a fucking interview? What is the point of this? You don't have your own questions? No, their own questions was whether he can swim or not. That's fantastic. Recently, he unsubscribed to you because of the controversy on Twitter and streams that you respond to fans negatively. Okay. My question is, did you watch the video of uh, not only Voodoo51292, but other people who have been with you along the ride since you started making videos on YouTube? If so, how do you feel about this? And this is from Charlie X. Just some ass question. Well, um, unfortunately, no. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, there we go. Of course, you're going to get this answer, man. You're going to get this answer. You got to be extremely specific and also show him exactly what you're talking about. You can't just write a paragraph worth of a question and expect an actual answer from DSP. Because that would happen earlier when we talked about Minecraft for 10 minutes. See any video? Unfortunately, because here's the problem is that when here's the problem a big audience You get so many people throwing things at you at once that you don't know What is something legitimate and what's something someone's just trying to be a dick about so unfortunately daily? I get people oh Phil Can you check out this video and they'll tweet it to me or they'll send me a PM Phil? This is important. Can you watch this and? uh, Unfortunately, it's just too much for me to keep up with so this guy I don't know if he ever did send me the video or whatever uh, but I did not see his video, so I'm not sure what exactly he's talking about. Um, but I think we already pretty much sufficiently addressed the whole Twitter situation that right. I shouldn't be arguing with people on Twitter. It's kind of dumb, especially because I can't intelligently express myself. And uh, again, I, I do apologize if it is the Minecraft situation. He can't situation intelligently situation express himself. There was something that I personally, you know, it's awesome. pissed him off or upset him about. He was actually. I'm, not sure. oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I said I wouldn't interrupt. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead, because I, I really don't have anything else to say, because I don't know what he specifically is uh, talking about. It, his video, he was very calm, kind of like the way I'm speaking to you right now. And he basically, it, it's kind of like the same feelings that Hazard had. It's just over time, a lot of the the way that fans are handled negatively, just uh, just the negativ- negativity in general is kind of just off-putting for him. That's that's really what it was about. He even showed off uh, one of your t-shirts, just to show that like he was a huge supporter, and... 
brought up a whole bunch of facts kind of, I guess, to legitimize his claim. Well, you see, and here's, here's something else that I do want to say about the subject is, unfortunately, there are some people who obviously are starting, a, you know, the trolling mo movement against me. Oh, my really God. It's a smear campaign at this point where someone will say something really stupid, all right, something insulting. They'll blatant insult. And so I'll go back at him because I'm an idiot. Instead of ignoring it like I should, I'll go back at him. Okay. This is this this is literally the the side scroller's answer again, again. And uh, immediately that's it. Look at this. Look what. Verb I S S stitch hair L O L cow. Bro, I I studied German for like four years and I legitimately have no idea what you said. Phil just said to me on Twitter, "Holy shit, <laughs> spread the word." But uh, I I got the L O L and the cow. I'm a fan, and look what he said to me. It's like, yeah, but look what you said first. You insulted me. You probably personally pissed me off because okay. you, you insulted my work. You called okay, me lazy. So? You said I was a sellout. You but bro, you, you, you got to understand. You don't have equal grounds with those people. They're just a dude in the comments, and you're the guy who runs a business. So you need to learn how to address this thing in a name smeared since proper way. Yeah, he's been he's been fucking smeared since a, a million trillion years ago. Something uh, obviously to irk me enough to actually respond to you in a in a pissy. Mimir cat is keen trolling about the interview. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I would hope not, because it would be entertaining. But then again, I don't know who he could get to be a friends and family, quote unquote. That would actually. F word. Yeah. Smiley face. Smiley face. S tut light. Ah. Uh huh. Okay, I get it. Okay, big up. Banner. So obviously something happened there. You know what I mean? Oh no no he he. <laughs> I mean, when I'm talking about the negativity. He didn't say anything to you specifically. It's just things that he observed that made okay. him yeah. like that. It's he like I said. This guy was very level headed. Right. He seems like he cares a lot about you and your content, and he kind of just feels down because he feels like a, a lot of the negativity is unnecessary. Kind of like what Hazard said. He's like, hey, just don't listen to them. Just keep doing your thing. Okay. Yeah, He's literally, I, this is the, the ongoing saga again, is him doing that again. You look up his most recent drama video, this is what the comments are. Hey, Phil, you should start ignoring Keemstar. Don't give him the, the time of day, man. Come on, you should move on. Don't deal with this toxic shit. Nowadays, this is like 10 years ago, this interview we're listening to right now. He's the same guy, same guy, same behavior, same answers, same way of spinning stuff, filibustering, rambling, same shit, same shit, different day. But now he looks more old and uh, snort sacks are bigger. I, I completely agree on that point. Like I already said about Hazard's point. Uh, it was funny because when I first started on YouTube, if you notice, I wasn't on Twitter. I wasn't on Facebook. I didn't have a website. You should be on Facebook now. Content. Facebook yeah. is and popping right I loved, now. Uh, even though I, you know, I loved the interactivity that I had with the fans talking on the comments of the videos, but that's pretty much the only interactivity that I had. Okay. It seems that over the years now, as this has become my profession, now it's necessary to be on Twitter, to be on Facebook, because you need to have this information, a way to disseminate the information. Now that I have multiple channels, I'm on Twitch, it's, it's almost impossible oh, to keep up is... with what's going on unless you have one central place to, 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 to do it. And that's what I've kind of made Twitch and Facebook. The problem now is, unfortunately, I need to stop letting those idiots who do say stupid stuff to me on there get to me and then turn it into something negative. So I do agree there. Well, this is still, this is still the ongoing right. issue. Um, this is my last... He's still working on this 10 years later. He's literally 41. Question. Literally. Uh, you constantly blame the game when you die or make a mistake. There you is go. that just a rage thing for you? And later on acknowledge that you are the one that's at fault? Or do you always uh... think it is just the game? From killed by death to... 2112. All right, great question. Because this one's going to give you some history on me that no one knows. Because I haven't ever talked on, about this in my podcasts or anything yet. Uh, well, I used to do the exact same thing in the competitive Street Fighter community. I would always, because back then we're not talking, we're not talking in the recent, say, five years. We're talking back yes, in the days of the bro, arcade. this shit sucks. I'm, I'm, arcade, I'm really close to rage quitting this, and it's been only half an hour. You had to Holy play on shit. a cabinet, so you were forced to use. It's like I feel like I've heard this answer a thousand times throughout the last fifteen years. Holy shit! Whatever control setup was there, whether it worked or not, Halo is attacking the game. Metal Gear Solid Five's coming out in the fall. That's it. The world's gonna end. He's gonna be the rule dictator, you know. And it, it, that's what I mean. If you watch my content, you know the stuff that I'm saying in the frame of reference is a joke. 
A lot okay. of these people, it's oh, it's a Kojima fanboy. If you're a DSP fan, you would agree with the things DSP says, and when he tells you something is a joke, you're going to agree with it. That's the logic. Oh, I heard some guys bashing Kojima, and then they go watch this the video. This interview was apparently like 2014. They hear me make a joke about Kojima, and that's it. Oh, my God. Now it's time to make two and a half our hateful montages about Phil. You know what I mean? Like that. It's just hateful it's montages. I just don't understand that kind of mentality. I personally <laughs> respect a lot of people in the gaming industry, even if I don't necessarily like their games. Like, let's face it, I don't like Minecraft that much, but Notch, oh. the like his idiocy is mind numbingly exhausting. It's really it's like mind numbing is is a very fitting term to use. Obviously, did something right. He's an ingenious man, and now he's a millionaire because of it. And now so he I'm loves Kojima. You know there what I mean? Go. But at the same time, I don't have to love him and kiss his ass. And these people are not above criticism. And people should stop trying to protect these people from criticism. Because criticism helps when it's done in the right manner. Are you doing it in the right manner, though? When you call him a cocksucker? What is that going to teach him? To stop sucking cock? I think we have time for, like, one or two more questions. Or do, How many do you have? I th I oh, is I there, like, part. is there a part where they actually ask him question, or is it just, it's all just fanboy questions uh, and, and people definitely. that have been banned questions? Uh, we're, I, I apologize, we're almost at that 70-30, everybody thought I was going to be, it was not done on purpose. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, and you got a nice gold laugh. This is a <laughs> kind of brief uh, question, I, I might actually add a little bit onto this, but uh, the question is, um, before you actually adopted live streaming, Oh um, my he was god! Very, um, adamant about not wanting to s switch over. He was more comfortable using the camera. <laughs> Dude, uh, no, but... bro, fuck off the direct capture question. You fucking piece of shit, cocksuckers. Or make this giant leap to this new technology. Oh and my I knew god! It was be hard, and I knew there were gonna be road bumps, which there have. <laughs> I can't been. believe this. Here I am. What? Six months? It's like, is there nothing else you can ask this? Fat fucking retard. Is there Once nothing later, else you can ask him? You gotta ask him about direct capture. God damn it. Say that my quality is 100%. I'm still using you, you new mic. Get the answer, I'm, I'm using a new mic for the first, uh, only a week now. I'm still, now I got a camcorder to try to do vlog. When I want to punish my partner, I run a pig stream. You should play the, the debunk stream on loop every single time. Lie. So I, I'm still tweaking it. It's still going to take some time to perfect it, but it was a necessary change that needed to happen. And instead of a surround sound system, oh my god, people who don't have enough money. To <laughs> oh my god, captures. no. So like it's the same song and dance every time. He says, and then, and then you, you complain. Like, what is your problem? Do you not know anything about food? So I tend to see the same way. Here's a company. It took the time to do amazing voice acting, dialogue, background, sounds 5.1 <laughs> surround sound huge hd visual 720p super Bruh. detailed graphics you choose to play the game on a tiny monitor and again i'm not saying that everyone chooses oh, he was shitting on people playing this on their playing video games on their desk do do this, this fucking Crash. They choose to play it on a tiny monitor okay. with headphones on, scrunched over, and then they say the game's not good. Like, not waiting. Well, that has nothing that? to do with it, man. How did you even say you played the game? You basically completely neutered the experience with your choices, and now you're going to shit on the game. So that's kind of the perspective that I have. I'm not saying that that's fair to everyone who is forced to experience these games in a way that maybe is not ideal. What? Okay. And now and now we're just backpedaling. Dude, I, I'm not saying the thing I just said. That's not how I meant it. It just came out like that. That's kind of my perspective on it. That's his perspective. Short, what you're basically Back in the day, he didn't even used to say, but that's that's just my take, man. You can disagree, and that's okay. The thing is that they have an opinion, you have an opinion, and it, neither is fact. It's just opinions. That's, that's correct. I have a personal preference of a way that I think that games are more immersive to be experienced. I'm sure other people okay. may have other ways. Uh, but the th same thing is, I have the right to express my opinion, but because I have a following of thousands of people on the internet, when I say something that people don't agree with, it blows up into huge controversy versus the guy at home who has his personal preference. He says it and no one goes nuts about it. Yeah, so. you're, a, you're a public personality. The guy at home is just a guy at home playing video games. And also you express your personal preference in a very toxic, toxic and abrasive way. And that's why people hate on you for it. Come on. Okay. Uh, is that it for the questions? <sighs> uh, let me see. I believe that is it. Okay, uh, that wow. is it. Oh, <laughs> no, there's no, a last one. These were a lot easier than I thought they were going to be. I thought you were Yeah, because they're fucking dead hit questions. Hey, yeah. Phil. Hey, why was I banned from the King of Hate forums for doing this and this and this? Well, man, I don't even know what you mean. Honestly, so. <laughs> it's literally just a pre-stream. It's just a pre-stream. 
Uh, well, I got I got one more, and this is from uh, Lambert, and and then every once in a while, some random boring dude says something, and and he just nods. You can you can imagine me nodding. The question was, have you ever regretted? I guess it kind of ties in with the other thing. I guess it would be a good question to sum up. Uh, okay. The whole conversation. Have you ever regretted anything that you've said in frustration? Um, whether it be on Turn the ovens or on? in the YouTube comment sections. Again, that's this is a stupid fucking oh, yeah, question. Absolutely, I already expressed just. Yeah, the dude was banned for racism off of Blip, dumbass. You think he doesn't regret that? Nah, man, I still stand up by what I said. This podcast, that yeah. I so meant guys, everything I said, I you fucking off, idiots. I go off the chain. I, I react in a knee-jerk reaction in the moment. With emotion, like I said, especially this year, it's been more of an emotional year for me because there were some changes that I had to go it's been through. An emotional I year. Things that I really How was it liked. an emotional year? He mean like, he moved across the country and ate a bunch of food and spent a lot of money. Wow, it's so emotional. Feel bad for me. That made me say some nasty things. To do this year with my life, and uh, you know, to see people break. who do things and make these negative accusations about me and say that I'm a sellout, say that I'm a horrible person, I attack my fans constantly. It's like, if that's the case, if I would, how would I have ever gotten fans if all I did was attack them? You know what I mean? This is godlike logic. He uses this for everything. But man, if I was hate saying hateful slurs, I wouldn't even be on Twitch. Like Maybe just, there's some things that you can do until you can stop getting away with them. As as is a big pattern with DSP. It seems to me that it's these few people who maybe fans, they do rub me the wrong way, and some of them maybe they didn't deserve it. And I'll openly admit that maybe I was uh, you know pissed off that day for some reason. I'm only human. I'm not a, perf a perfect person. And again, we are the fallible that. human. Uh, and, this know, is the greatest react. hits of DSP of DSP filibustering and bullshit. The greatest hits because there is nobody there to tell them to, to challenge him in any kind of way. Nobody. If anything, they just uh, they just agree with anything. Yes. So yeah, Phil, I think you I I think you are right on point with this one, man. The wrong way. You're just a human. And uh, and then it ends up blowing up. People yeah. say, oh, Phil hates Minecraft. Phil hates his fans. Phil's and now we're talking about, about Minecraft. And again. I do apologize for that. And uh, like I said, what I need to do is I need to kind of just sit back and relax a little bit. Right now, we're leading out of the summer. We're heading into a season where there's going to be a bunch of great games coming out. I'm going to be immersed in it, and I just need to put my head down and work through it and enjoy the games and have fun and be positive and focus on the positive instead of just listening to every little nobody who's going to leave a negative Stone comment. Stone David, man who mocked Nas S, pig. Well, yes, Howard Stern is different. Because at least when he does stuff, it's very easy to say, uh, it's very easy to see that it's a joke. Come on, it's really easy to see. And when DSP, that's that's why he gets people so pissed off, because you just genuinely think he's racist. On, on a video or on, on Twitter, uh, that's the attitude that's got me where I am now, and that's the attitude that's going to allow me to continue to do what I'm doing in the future. And, you know, some people call me out for it, okay? You know, message heard, thank you. And uh, I will try to to, uh, to fix that. All right. Um, so just real quick, in recent gaming news, since I can't go over all of it, uh, the winner of the International 2013 Dota 2 Championship, Are we serious? who's been following that, is actually a group of five players from Sweden, Mark Crown, Are we serious? Nervous Alliance, taking away $1.4 million in prize money. Bruh. Uh, we have the winners of the Pokemon 2013 World Championship, this is uh, on this um, off of his Rev3 Games channel where he's talking about uh, publishers decided to slaughter it because maybe they stubbed their toe that morning. I was just was hold on, off. hold on. Is this, is this just like a gaming discussion? Oh, what? Okay, let's see this. Into the word review, it means that you're reviewing something, you're recapping, you're bringing together information. The purpose of a review is to take factual information about a game, combine it with your own personal experiences with that game, and comparing it to other games that you've played to let me know is this game better or worse than another game. That this is such a level one brain brainlit opinion. This is so fucking stupid, dude. You just take a game. You put in the factual observations and information, and then you take your own personal experiences, which is also your opinion, and you compare it to other games, so you can say if it's better or worse. Ah, uh, good job, Phil. Yeah, that's, that's why his reviews are popping off. That's why he's the god of reviewing stuff. That's how I know 
if I want to buy it or not. Is it better or worse than the other game? That's the candidate for me. The problem that pig made <laughs> alien star of David devoid any context. <laughs> well, because he just like he started out of nowhere. The context, I guess, is like, ah, oh, my name is uh, uh, Isaac Heimler, and I'm the last remaining Nazi. And that that was the whole fucking context. It's it's it, 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 it's out of nowhere. To buy, and this is not what reviewers are doing. There was no setup. He just tells you, "Hey, I'm I'm this guy. Turn the ovens on." But you ain't got the answer, Sway. In the video game medium, and I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because video games are sort of boomed in the past. Bro, decade, this is a complete. And only now it's being considered big business. Waste of time. This is so trash. It's almost, it's almost impossible to be this trash. It's, it's just a pre-stream. Absolutely just a pre-stream. And now they're talking about game reviews and shit. Uh, uh, fuck this. Fuck this. Let's go watch something else. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, yesterday we got this rant about a landfill and shit. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I rage quit that last shit. That was a, a piece of shit. But now I got a message from my landlady, and I'm gonna be expecting a repairman to show up. So I think this might be a place to end the stream, you guys. So I don't end up just bailing at some point. Fuck me. At least they sent me a message this time. So let's see if they're gonna fucking lie to me like always or not. Okay, maybe I can wait for them to come, but I don't know. I don't know. I think that's gonna be the thing. Yeah, because tomorrow we got a, a, a big stream. Big stream. And this this one is just the, the there you go. There you go. So yeah, uh again. Tomorrow. Five o'clock. Is it five o'clock? Maybe four o'clock? We'll see. I'll announce it. Hashtag ad. We're raiding from the shadows. Like uh, legends. <laughs> and after that, we do the DSP stuff like normal. It's going to be like six, seven, eight hours until he is done reacting. And when he's done reacting, we're going to leave and never come back. Or at least when we until we come back next time. So yeah, that's going to be it, man. Um, see you tomorrow. All right. Bye.